Hi, in this video we'd like to show you about our newest 8x8 HTML sheets feature. So we start from the setup. And I can see here we got it in PC as the HTML output. And also we have the line cable for the IP country with the software later. And over here we got another two source. And one is a media player. And another one is the HTML generator, which have a 1080p output and also we can just turn on the HDCP. We can switch to the HDCP 1.4. And here's the 8x8 HDMI matrix feature. And this is the front panel. On the front panel, we have LCD screen. With LCD screen, we can check out the switching status, ADID management, and also the IP address information. On this side, we have the input buttons, eight input buttons, eight output buttons. So for the switching end, we just press the input and press the output. We can switch to two K for switching, and also with the background light, it can be easier to recognize the switching status. And over here, we got the country. So for the country, we once we press the EDID button, and we can have the EDID information on LCD screen. With it up and down, and then we can select different EDID. So we have the embedded EDID, 1080p, and different audio channels. And also can switch the 4K. And also we have the DVI. And also can use the EDID from the out eight outputs. And also we can save and record the presets. Here we got an IR for the IR remote control. And on the back panel, we have eight HDMI input ports and eight HDMI output ports. And also two RS-222 country and one RG45 for the IP country and the power connector with the screw. So it can be very stable. And also an off and on switch here. On this side, we have eight monitors here. So now we just back to the country PC and to show you how to use the country software to control this matrix feature. As we learned before, and we have the default IP address is 192.168.1.80. So first step, we just have the line cable connect to the country PC. Then we go to the network center. So we need to set up the IP address for this PC and we just click and change the TCP IP4 and we set up the IP address as 192.168.1.88 and also the gateway and also DNS. Just click OK. And just close all those windows. Then we go to the software. So we go to the software, we have the HDMI control, we just double click to run the software, we just maximum the control window. So once we got the control software and we have a set here, so we just click the set and we use the net. If we use the R32 and we just use the com. So we just click lock here. So we can find this matrix which it's eight inputs, eight outputs, and also the IP address information. Then we just go back to the switch interface. So once we go to the switch interface, we can see here we got eight HDMI input port input button here and eight HDMI output button here. We just select the input and we can see the uh, current switching information. So for the switch and we just select the inputs and then press the output buttons here. Then press OK down below here. Then we can check out the switching. We also can hear a beep sound. We also can double click to change the name here. We just click save. We already changed the name as HDMI. 
Once we select this one, and also we can see here. If we use the right click on the mouse, we can select the EDID from eight outputs, and also we have the embedded 15 embedded EDID. Once we select one, we just click OK. This is about the switching, and also we have the load here. So for load, basically we can just load the saved presets. So like the current switching status, and we can just back to this save and view. So we can just save this one as the center one. Total this matrix feature can support 11 presets. So it already saved. So we just back to load back to the switch mode and we just switch to all the different switching stators to all the outputs and press OK. Then we go to the load load interface and we just press the center one which we just saved before and we just click OK here load here we also have another center and we just click and then load plus this matrix switcher we also can use the remote control to control the switching and so we just need to press the input so press the input one then switch here and switch to the outputs, press the button So we can hear the beep sound and also we can see this source already switching on the TV. And also we have another button, a number 9 is actually for the EDID. So we press 0 for the EDID setting. And we'll just press enter to confirm. We also can recall or save the centers. We'll just recall and then select the number here. Just recall different presets. Okay, thank you so much and I hope you like this video and this product.